Hey, good news. You can now stitch together panoramas in Luminar Neo. So if you are a landscape photography lover, you will love this extension and you will want to have it in your arsenal. Luminar Neo will release uh, this extension on July 20th of 2023. So if watching this video before that day, you can benefit of a special offer for early bird buyers. There are two options, one for Luminar Neo current users and another option for new Luminar Neo users. So go ahead to the description below, check the links, don't miss out, move fast to get a special price. Now, without any further ado, let's get straight to the point and start stitching together all the images I have in here to create this beautiful panorama with just a few clicks, all right? All right, here are the photographs I will be stitching together today using Luminar Neo. There's a total of 20 photographs. I will explain why I use this hand. And before that, if you wanna check the details of the offers, I will be uh, showing that uh, right away. If you don't want to check that if you're, or you already know that, you can go to the index, uh, the menu in the description below and you can jump right away to the tutorial. But if you want to check the offers and the great offers that you don't want to miss those offers, stay with the video. Okay, here we are. This is the first option. This option here is for new Luminar Neo users. I mean, you don't own the program yet. So I will click on buy now straight to the point. And here are your two options. The recommended one is this pro subscription, which is uh, you have two different modes, uh, by pay by month or pay by year. Uh, as of today is at 99 uh, euros the subscription in uh, the first year then it will increase to 149 uh, for the second year and so on but this option is really great because you will get you know the loop the program luminar neo all the extensions that are available out there you know and the future ones also you will get the release uh, of the panorama stitching extension that is going to be out really soon and this drone guide with 37 drone tips if you are drone if you got drone people this guide is for you another cool thing about this uh, pro subscription plan is that you have a tool licenses so you can put this program with all the features in your desk uh, computer and also in your portable or your laptop and also you will get a 10% marketplace discount, which is where the place you can buy skies, um, you can buy, um, I mean, uh, presets and some other cool stuff that you can plug into Luminar Neo to enhance your workflow and create stunning photographs. The other option is to have or purchase this lifetime access. The program is gonna be for yours forever. No need to pay subscriptions. You know, you will get the program and also as a gift uh, for the lifetime access, you will get uh, the panorama station extension uh, this is a license for one on computer either laptop or uh, desk mac or pc you will get any updates you know will be yours forever but if you want to add different extensions you will need to purchase them uh, one by one all right so now moving to current luminar neo users and here we are let me check the buy now button we have more options uh, the first one is just to buy the panorama stitching pro extension 39 euros and after the release date it will increase to 49 um, then the recommended one is to switch to a subscription um, a program which is by year uh, there's an offer right now before the release at $39 the first year then it will increase to 79 and, and you will get you know all the updates all the existing uh, you know extensions the panorama stitching you know the drone guide and the two like, the things i said before you will get for 39 euros the first year if you decide to buy it now and the last option is just getting the extension packs uh, which is the extension pack the complete extension pack also with uh, the panorama station when it's released uh, really soon and the drone guide with 37 drone tips so i think these deals are really great if you miss them, don't worry. Skyden team is always providing great offers. I think this this people is really thinking about our pockets, and and that especially for people like us that we don't dedicate ourselves to photography. We like photography. 
um, you know, we, we are a hobbyist, uh, an enthusiast, and we love photography. And, and these people always make it easy for us to, you know, have everything in one place, providing good prices. So I think they provide more value for what you pay. So when I see people that, you know, have put an extra effort, effort to provide more value for the money, they have my money. <laughs> All right, guys. So without any further ado, let's move now to the tutorial. Okay. Here I have uh, the pictures. I have a total of, because let me see, it is including this one. I think I have a total of 21 pictures. Yes. But this picture over here is a reference picture because sometimes I shoot uh, two or three sequences of the same uh, spot at different settings, right? And then I need to have a reference of which one is going to be my initial photograph. I will stitch together these 20 pictures. There's no more science to this than just uh, you know, selecting all of them and dragging them to the panorama stitching extension. In other words, to select all these pictures, the, first, the way I do it is I click on this first one, scroll down all the way to the last one, uh, hit or the, the shift key on my keyboard, click on the last one, and you will see that all of them are selected. You know, I have 20 pictures selected in here. So I will open the panorama stitching extension, and then I will drag these 20 pictures. And by the way, if you want to check a guide that I put together for shooting panoramas, I will leave uh, the link in the description below to my blog post where I talk about this. So um, the different options you have here in this panorama extension, um, you know, extensions are you have the distortion correction, which is I think is good because most of the lenses, um, or the recommended lenses used to shoot panoramas are wide angle lenses, and those lenses have a um, tendency. Uh, to distort, right? You know, so distortion correction would be great. Um, the vignette also as well. You know, there's a tendency sometimes of these um, lenses to also create the, those tiny vignettes in, in the corners of the, the, the frame. So I will select those two. I don't see any chromatic aberration in this, in this photograph. It was a very <laughs> overcast day. And by the way, this was shot in Ourense, that's in Galicia, you know, in Spain, the northern part of Spain. So the day was really cloudy, but you know, I, I loved the the scenery. So I, and I didn't have any type of tripod. All of these pictures were shot handheld, and that's the reason I'm telling you to check the guide I have in my blog post because you know you can still shoot the panorama. Uh, without mm, a tripod, but it's recommended to use one. Okay, so the other thing is the remove files. You don't want to remove the files, you want to keep them. And the last thing to do here is just click start and wait. All right, so I will do that now, but I will not keep you waiting. So I will click, wait for the time for this uh, software to work. And then when it's done, I will continue with the video. Okay, so I will click start right now. All right, here is the resulting panorama out of 20 pictures. This is what it did, right? So this uh, is your Canva where you work you know, the panorama. I'm moving the photograph around because this is the way you might want to recenter or relocate uh, the ending panorama. Over here, I'm using a PC. We have different options: spherical, cylindrical, rectangular, plane, and fisheye. This is a type of projection. Imagine this screen over here is a projector, and the shape of that screen is the one that you that you you know perceive as a viewer. If I click on this one, the option says cylindrical. You see, is kind of a cylinder. Which is, I, which is for me is kind of cool for this one. Mercator. Um, you see what it does? And this one here is the plane, is the one that provides more content in these areas. And the fisheye. This is also not too bad. For this thing but i think between spherical and 
this this option here which is the plain one i think those two are good for this panorama and as i said i will not be covering the techniques or details there's a guide um, to, that shows you why i shoot an horizontal panorama using uh, a vertical or portrait um, orientation of the, of the of the camera to shoot it and the reason to do that is because i want to have um, enough uh, data i mean to stitch together a panorama in any of these projections and then cut it off and still have the composition that i want so i will leave this one over here there, there are definitely there are technical explanations for all this uh, different type of orientations but mm, that's not my field you know I, I play with them and the one I like it's that's the one I use and I encourage you guys to do it same right so but if you still want to know um, the exact technical you know bolts and nuts of the this different type of projections okay go ahead, go ahead and search the internet all right so the next step now is to click on continue and this is going to be the end result of the stitching. So we'll click on that. And there you have it. So I have these handles over here for cropping the photograph. So I will move the first one here, second one here, and also this one and the other one like so. All right. And then the next thing is just to crop. And then I have the crop image. I have some minor things that will fix in here, but I think overall the picture is nice. Okay, maybe not too nice. I will probably get to this. I mean now. Okay, now it's better for me. And then save. Boom. And I click save. It will stitch together the image. Alright. You'll see it here that I was working on this folder here, but when you finish stitching, it will move the photograph to this panorama stitching folder. This folder was created by Luminar Neo, not by me. All right. So here's my photograph. I will open this photograph in edit mode. And there you have it. As I said, I have some pixels missing here, right? This corner and this corner here. I can easily fix that using the clones stamp tool yeah like this i will click on alt on my keyboard to click an area and then click where i want to fix it maybe the size is too big let me click here 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 and here see. that working yeah it's working yeah it takes your time it takes the time guys because this is a huge picture let me show you you know i shot raw I have an old camera, it's an old Canon 7D, and those images are not that big as current cameras, you know, there are cameras with a hundred and something megapixels, you name it. But if you check the size of this photograph, you see, it's 446 megabytes and it's 11,000 pixels wide. Uh, you can get easily with this new cameras, 30,000, 40,000 pixels wide, that's a huge picture. And that's the nature of the panorama because when if you were to print this in a large scale it would look beautiful so if you want to add the preset there are different presets that are built in in luminar neo there are some others that you can purchase without the 10 percent discount i mentioned at the beginning but i will try uh, let me check this no that's not a one the one scenery one here's one this more volume one that will add the sky for you look at that i will click on that boom one click yes i want to keep it i want to keep it that's cool one click one click and then there's a different panorama it's really great maybe to my style i will add a masking here or linear gradient masking i learned this trick from this Great photographer, French photographer, um, Search Ramily, and also from us, some others I'm picking up uh, under recommendations just to create that small type of uh, vignette. I mean, this vertical, I think it's vertical. 
yes to center you know um, your attention to this I, I I don't think I need to change anything else in this image to my liking it's okay but if you were to have another sky for example this blue sky and it's not typical sky of um, you know fall time so I can always go to the edits here and select the adjustment and and tweak it and change it you know if I want to add for example this sky over here I can change it this different mood if you want this other different mood as well you will get more dramatic you have a more dramatic it's your liking maybe this one over here so you will have different options to your photograph right so I will probably leave this one maybe the other one like this yes it's a different mood but as I said you select the one you like the most all right so let me know what you think guys about this extension um, I think it's cool the option it has to um, to stitch horizontal panoramas vertical panoramas and create panoramas from videos is really great I will be recording more videos of the other two options I mean stitching together a vertical panorama and, and creating a panorama from a video which is our other two cool options of the extension so again guys thank you very much for watching the video if you like uh, this type of content please uh, consider subscribing to the channel uh, give me a like and also hit that bell button so you can get informed by YouTube every time I upload a, um, new content and leave me in the comments what you think about the extension and remember if you're watching this video before uh, July 20th of 2023 you can get a great deal uh, in buying this extension or the program plus the extension packs and all the things I covered at the beginning of the video so again guys thank you very much and see you in the next straight to the point tutorials god bless you all bye bye